you ever heard of the Nine Arch Bridge, a mesmerizing marvel tucked away in the lush landscapes of Sri Lanka? Nestled in the emerald embrace of the island's hill country, this breathtaking structure is a testament to human ingenuity and a colonial era marvel. At first glance, its majestic nine arches, gracefully soaring over a verdant valley, capture the imagination. It's as if nature herself had crafted this architectural gem, blending seamlessly with the rolling hills. Trains trundle over its tracks, offering passengers a fleeting yet unforgettable glimpse of its splendor. But the Nine Arch Bridge is not just a feast for the eyes. It's a symbol of cultural exchange, a fusion of Eastern and Western engineering techniques that has stood the test of time. This is more than just a bridge. It's a symbol of cultural exchange, a testament to human ingenuity and a whisper of the past etched in stone. But what makes the Nine Arch Bridge truly stand apart is its remarkable history. It was the year 1921, a time when Sri Lanka was under British rule. A local craftsman named P.K. Apuhami took on a monumental task. His mission? To build a bridge that would stand the test of time. But this was no ordinary project. It was a fusion of Eastern and Western engineering techniques, a blend of cultures that was reflected in its design. Apuhami's approach was innovative. At a time when steel and concrete were the go-to materials for bridge construction, he chose a different path. His tools were simple, yet effective. Bricks, rocks, and cement. The lack of steel or concrete didn't hinder him. On the contrary, it spurred him on. The result? A majestic structure that gracefully spanned the verdant valley below. This bridge, built solely with bricks, rocks, and cement, stands as a testament to the skill and resourcefulness of its builders. The Nine Arch Bridge isn't alone in its grandeur. It shares a bond with other viaduct bridges from around the world. Take, for instance, the Garabit Viaduct in France, an exquisite piece of engineering from the year 1884. Its stone and masonry construction echo the Nine Arch Bridge, both showcasing the technical prowess of their era. Then there's the Royal Gorge Bridge in the United States. Completed in the late 20s, it mirrors the Nine Arch Bridge's daring height and scenic setting. Imagine standing on the edge, heart pounding as you take in the breathtaking views. And let's not forget the Goom Loop in India. Part of the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, it's a testament to the intricate engineering solutions devised to conquer challenging terrains. These bridges, each with their unique charm, echo the spirit of the Nine Arch Bridge. Each of these bridges, like the Nine Arch Bridge, whisper tales of their times. Today, the Nine Arch Bridge is more than just a relic of the past. It stands proudly as a vibrant part of Sri Lanka's present, brimming with life and teeming with stories. Its majestic arches draw tourists from every corner of the globe, each eager to witness its breathtaking beauty and capture its essence in photographs. The bridge, in essence, has become a beloved icon, a must-see for any travel enthusiast journeying through Sri Lanka. But it's not just the tourists who are captivated by the bridge. Locals, too, hold it dear to their hearts. To them, it's more than a picturesque backdrop. It's a symbol of their heritage, their resourcefulness, and their enduring spirit. As you consider your next travel destination, let the Nine Arch Bridge beckon. Let it invite you to embark on a journey that bridges time, cultures, and landscapes. The Nine Arch Bridge is a testament to the enduring human spirit that continues to bridge gaps and connect hearts, one arch at a time. So when are you planning your visit?